So I don't know about y'all, but I highly prefer prime lenses over zoom lenses. I swear anytime I hear someone talking about getting into wedding photography, the only thing they talk about is getting their 24 to 70 and 70 to 200. And no offense to anybody, but honestly, you can do much better with prime lenses. Let's talk about the three main reasons I choose prime lenses over zoom lenses. Starting out with the first and most obvious is faster lenses. With prime lenses, you can get 1.4, 1.2, or even F1. Like, honestly, I've seen what Viltrax has like 0.97. Like, you can let in so much more light with prime lenses. And I know prime lenses might be scaring you, but when it gets dark and you need that light, you can shoot that thing wide open. Trust me, it makes a huge difference. All my lenses are f1.4, and I also even own the 50 f1, which is one of my favorite lenses. Y'all can check out the video about that up above. But really, on a zoom lens, at best, you're getting f2.8, and hopefully it's all the way through all the focal lengths, because I absolutely hate when you get a lens that's like f2.8 to f5.6. So when you zoom in, it gets darker, and then what happens is instead of you being able to mentally be like, this is the shot I'm taking, these are the settings I know I need, the moment you zoom in, everything changes, and now you gotta rechange your settings. So it's just, it's a lot of extra stuff that I don't feel like dealing with. Prime lenses are so much faster and they let in way more light. Reason number two is the size. I'm sorry, y'all. The size of prime lenses is a huge winner for a wedding photographer. I don't know about y'all, but I'm carrying all this stuff on my back all day for at least eight to 10 hours. And I want everything to be as light as possible. That's the main reason I switched over to Fujifilm, even though they're crop sensor. And I know everyone acts like, oh my God, he's shooting weddings with crop sensor. But again, check out these full wedding days. I do it and I've been doing it for over five years. But zoom lenses are just huge. Like look at a normal 24 to 70. It's absolutely massive. Like how do y'all enjoy carrying that? I'm sorry, it's not that hard to shoot primes. I know everyone's like, well, well, I can get to the shots quick. Understand your lenses, understand your focal lengths and where you need to stand for your shots and be a part of the photography process, not just sitting back, zooming in all the time, getting shots. I could go on forever, but I do have a video I just did talking about it where I show how I use primes in an engagement session. Check that out up above as well but prime lenses are the way to go. You'll save yourself on size and on weight. I mean, pretty much every wedding day, I only bring four lenses with me and they all can fit on my body. One is in a pouch, basically close to my shoulder, and the other one is in my bag behind my back, and then two of them are on my camera. So like, it's really not that bad. And the last reason I love using prime lenses is the consistency and the process. Basically, when you're shooting prime lenses, you know exactly what you're gonna get all the time at all times. There's no guessing. There's no, what does this focal length look like when I stand close to people? You know exactly what it is all the time. And it actually becomes a part of your physical process. Now, I'm not a rangefinder myself, and I've never shot manual focus, but you know, people who shoot manual focus, they can literally walk into their shots and know exactly where they need to stand. And the reason they're able to do that is because they've been shooting with that lens for so long. And a lot of people think that it's scary to shoot with primes only, but trust me, when you have two cameras and you know the focal lengths on your body, it's really not that hard. I know when I'm standing X far from my couple, I can go ahead and pull out a 50 mil and that's the look I want. I know exactly how it looks in my head and I know I don't have to like walk in or out. I know exactly where I need to be for the shot. This is something that you'll learn over time, but once you learn it, it becomes secondhand nature. And really, you know exactly how your photos are gonna look too, which is really cool to me. It's less of like guessing on the shot just cause you're like, oh, that's cool. And you zoom in and you're like, wow, I took a picture. It's less of, I took a picture and like seeing it in your mind before you take it because you're like, this is what it's gonna look like cause I'm gonna shoot it on this 35 mil, walking up into it and then boom, there's the shot. It looks exactly the way you wanted it to and everything's great. So really like, Having a clear process is huge. Also on wedding days, there's certain amounts of focal lengths I'm using at certain times of the day. 
So when I start my day, I'm using my wider lenses. So I have a 23, which is 35 mil for all you full framers, and a 33, which is also a 50. So start of the day, clearly that's what I'm going to use because we're in a room, like a hotel room. There's not a lot of space. I'm not going to walk into a hotel room with an 85. And that's the kind of stuff that like Zoom lens users are always worried about. They're like, what if we don't have the wrong focal length? Well, think about it. You know, I'm not going to have the 85 on my camera when I'm actually going for getting ready photos. That makes absolutely no sense. You're probably in a room and you don't have a lot of space. So 35 and 50, that's how the day starts. If it's even smaller, then I'll swap my 35 to a 24 and then I'll be 24 and 50. But basically my whole wedding day is broken out like this. So I start out with getting ready, 35 and 50. I get to ceremony, 35 and 50. Then I switch to 50 to 85 for the rest of the ceremony. Then we get to, you know, reception time. Then it's 35 and 50 for first dance, cake cut, all that stuff. And then open dance floor opens up and then it's 24 and 50. You see that? I've only changed my lenses a couple of times. Uh, that's another thing people are always thinking like, well, if you have prime lenses, you're always changing your lenses. You're not. You know exactly what you're shooting and when you're shooting it. So because of that, you're only changing your lenses at certain points of the day. So honestly, really, make a process around your prime lenses. It's really not that hard. And if you want to see it in action, check out these full wedding day videos where you can see me shooting a whole wedding on prime lenses only and on crop sensor and getting great results.